Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your weekly read for the week of March 28th through April 3rd. General reading will not resonate with every Pisces. Um, if this is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific, this is just for any Pisces placement propensity in your chart. If this does not, if this does not resonate with you, um, do feel free to check out any other sign propensity that you may have in your chart as we are all propensities, right? Any information you may need is in the description box. Please make sure that you're checking that first before contacting me. And um, thank you for everyone who has subscribed. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. All right, jumping right in for Pisces. Three cards out, let's keep going. Three more cards for Pisces. Messages for their greatest and highest good. What else do we have for Pisces? Okay, let me see. One, two and we did get two extra so I'll take them they're necessary apparently all right let's see what's the bottom of the deck bottom of the deck Pisces we have the two of wands choices are being made the future is being looked to okay beautiful energy for the week whether this is you or someone that you may be dealing with a situation you may be thinking about but this is being able to move forward having the clarity knowing what you want and uh, once we know what we want, then it's easier to get it, right? It's easier to make plans or move forward. So choosing, a choice has been made, okay? Your first card out, past position, is the Knight of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign, have that energy in your chart. This could be you, because you know you are a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is an offer of emotion, an offer of love. Someone wanting to take you out. Someone want to, wanting to express um, that they're feelings they have feelings for you cups do represent emotions feelings our heart space so someone is feeling you or you're feeling somebody okay you have emotions for somebody and you're wanting to express that you're wanting to to offer your love to them whether it is a family member friend relationship okay but you're wanting to put that offer out there or someone is wanting to put the offer out there to you or they did in the past okay it is in the past Next card out, present position, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Not a knight here. Some of you could be dealing with multiple people. I definitely think this is about some sort of romantic relationship, okay, based on what I'm seeing, okay? So, yeah, some of you could be dealing with multiple people or this is just the same person that is just harnessing this stable energy. It might have taken a long time, right, to present this sort of energy to you. They might have been thinking about this, you know, dragging their feet a bit, but... You know, the, the, the Knight of Pentacles, he gets a bad rap because he takes forever. But, I mean, he's the most solid offer you can get, right? A Queen of Cup, a, a Knight of Cups, he can just offer you love. But that don't mean he's going to stay. Knight of Wands, even better. Even worse, he's definitely not staying, right? But the King of Pentacles now, you know, it's kind of like that um, worth the wait type of energy. This is something that once it's there, it's not going anywhere. Once, it, once this type of energy um, makes up its mind, it's in. And I mean, yeah, whoever this is, whether this is you or the person that is coming towards you, not only are they going to be stable, but there is love there. Like They genuinely love you and will love you probably for a very long time. Okay? This could be your energy as well. Your next card out future position is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay? So we have a Knight of Pentacles approaching a Queen of Pentacles. Another stolid type of person, right? The suits represent types of people, not necessarily, you know, male, female, whatever. It's aspects to uh, as different aspects or personality types, right? Queen of Pentacles, she's like about to be married. She's like engaged, okay? As I said, the three, the two others, the Knight of, the Queen of Wands, she's divorced. No, the Queen of Swords, she's divorced. The Queen of Wands, she's single, living her best life. But the Queen of Pentacles, she's like engaged. You know what I mean? She's got the ring on. She just doesn't like pick the date yet type of thing, right? But it looks like you may have to pick a date soon. <laughs> right? Or someone's going to have to pick a date soon. A date is in the works for sure. I'll tell you that much right now. Okay? Someone's going to have to pick a date soon because it's, it's going there. It's getting there, okay? Someone is seeing you as someone they can spend the rest of their life with, someone super nurturing, someone worth planting roots with, right? Because that's what the Queen of Pentacles represents. Stability, groundedness. Underneath the Knight of Cups, we have Major Archon at the Tower. Sudden changes. So this could be something you're absolutely not expecting here, Pisces. 
or you know this person might not be expecting this if this is you that's wanting to approach somebody here with some sort of stable loving offer because you see them as you know someone you can plan that date with and i don't mean like a date i mean like the wedding date you know what i mean that's what i meant but suddenly out of nowhere epiphany eureka moment if this is a water sign definitely could be a water sign but this is just the energy this person's in someone's definitely suddenly having this the realization it seems or you are suddenly having a realization that you're ready you're ready to present this offer because this person is someone that is worthy present position underneath the knight of pentacles another major arcana. hold on one two three major arcanas out of six cards absolutely amazing major shifts and changes eureka eureka right new cycle starting a new cycle and it's coming out underneath the Knight of Pentacles. So a stable cycle, a solid cycle, a relationship that's solid, a relationship that's going to last, that's built on strong bones, leaving, you know, that single cycle in the past. Okay. And your last card out is the Hierophant. Well, actually, you got two extra cards, so we'll get into that. But Hierophant, another major arcana here. Which is commitment. And it's coming out underneath the Queen of Pentacles. I told you. She'd be getting married. But she's about to plan the date. He or she. Doesn't matter. Right? Whoever's receiving this offer. Which will most likely be a she. But I mean, you know. It's just the energy form. Receiving is a female, feminine energy, right? Receiving. Moving. Like, as I said. She's about to be the Empress. Higher, higher levels of commitment. Commitments we take seriously to heart, long-term commitments, family, friends, jobs, okay? Might have took a very long time for this offer to be presented, but I definitely feel like someone is ready to offer, to present the offer. Maybe they're just coming to this realization, like it just hit them out of nowhere, that it's time. It's time to move forward, right? You also got the Knight of Wands, I mean, the Knight of Swords. So you actually have three knights here. Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. So what this is telling me is if this person, let's say you've been dating this person for a very long time and you've been wondering when the hell are they going to, or you guys have been dating for a long time and they haven't made it official yet, exclusive, or you guys want to move in, something, something very big, right? Something very concrete that solidifies this relationship because I do think this is a relationship, okay? Um... This person's no longer moving slow. The time is now. 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 Pedal to the metal. Reunion, celebration. So, I mean, this is pretty, it's, it's self-explanatory. If this wasn't, if, if there was a chance, I mean, that um, it wasn't pertaining to relationship, this kind of just, this three of cups kind of solidifies it. Because what do you do after you get engaged or move in together, right? You celebrate. You tell everybody about it. Hey celebration let's get together friends family you know what i mean moving fast now i mean after a long period of probably working on this and waiting right also another story i'm getting something could have suddenly ended with a water sign and now you're starting something new with a a, 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 a earth sign that could be it as well suddenly like you weren't expecting this situation to end with this water sign, but all of, a, all of a sudden this water sign energy comes in. Could be the same person with different energy. Maybe they weren't very committal in the past, taking very long, but looking to be stable now, looking to commit, starting a new cycle, suddenly realizing that a new cycle needs to start, that you are like, you're, you have every quality, right? Wanting to rush in and celebrate, share the news move forward after a long time of you know slow and steady movement let's get you a animal oracle one card for pisces please messages for their greatest and highest good march 28th through april 6th what do we have for pisces but beautiful energy whether this is love romance work definitely think it's some sort of relationship though that you're going to have to commit yourself a little bit more to. Definitely could be a new job or career path that you're committing, you're committing yourself to. Maybe out of the blue, you're getting more clients as well. Because, I mean, I do see three three nights here, right? 
Maybe you're all of a sudden, you started a business a little while ago and all of a sudden like boom overnight, like new cycle of abundance and you're gonna have to commit yourself more now because you are getting more orders, you are getting more whatever it is, right? Clients, okay, two cards. B spirit, sweet results await. Some of you, this is definitely career now that I just said that, right? Some of you, this is pertaining to some sort of career, some sort of um, um, financial endeavor, business, personal thing that you have started. And out of the blue, it's like you're going to start seeing more clients, getting more clients, getting the recognition where you're going to have to put a lot more commitment into it, bringing you into a new cycle, right? Where you're going to be celebrating. Things are going to be moving super quickly. You might have to hire your friends, right? Sweet results await, B. But you've worked hard for this because the B don't work. The B don't work, there's no honey. What number? Seven. Lucky number seven. Hitting the jackpot out of the blue. Suddenly. This is like seven energy, like, you know, potentially, right? And you also got... Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries number three. Absolutely. If this is pertaining to career for some of you and you guys are stepping into a new cycle where you're going to be a lot more abundant financially and, you know, your business is going to be thriving, definitely boundaries will have to be set because you worked hard. You worked very hard for this. With that Nine of Pentacles energy, it's definitely something you love. That's why you were able to do it for so long. If this was a relationship that you've been waiting forever for it to be, you know, upgraded this is because you love this person so you were willing to wait it wasn't you know a dreadful thing or could have been but it's no longer going to be dreadful if it was you were patient right but if this is work definitely you've worked very hard for this you put in the time you put in the emotion your heart and um now is the time to reap what you have sown things are going to be speeding up okay let's get you a oh that's why you'd be looking out because you have the world in your hands, okay? That's why. Because now you can see where all your work has gone. Like all the effort you've been putting into this thing. Whatever it is. Relationship, job, business, hobby. You're now seeing what that effort was for. You have the world in your hands. You continue to grow and expand, right? Okay. Pisces, one card. Perfect. Is that one card? No, two cards. Okay. No, I'm not taking those. Needs to be shuffled up some more. Okay. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Messages for their greatest. And how is good? March 28th, April 3rd. What do we have for Pisces? One card for Pisces, please. Okay. Inner temple. Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. I just said that. It's because you love what you do. It's because you love the person you're with. That's why you were able to sustain this effort. But sweet results away. And you're going to be even more overfilled because you're, you know, you're going to finally see, you're going to be able to finally see the way forward where you might not have been seeing what, what was it was all for before. It's all going to start to make sense now. You're going to be able to expand too. Definitely some of you are in the public eye with that world card going global. All right? Alrighty, those are the messages I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully they were helpful. Hopefully they resonated. If they did, thumbs up the video for me. And until next time. <laughs>